morning, a group of young performers travel from Broadway to Hollywood. Coming up on CBS This Morning, from its original home at the August Wilson Theater on Broadway. We're the cast of Clint Eastwood's film, Jersey Boys. Oh, we did that okay. Yeah. Go a little bad. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're a nice looking bunch. That's ahead, but first, to check with your local editor. For more than eight years, Jersey Boys has been a smash hit on Broadway. The musical won four Tony Awards. It was only a matter of time until Hollywood got in on the act. The film version, directed by Clint Eastwood, premieres tomorrow. Contributor Jamie Wax sat down with the Jersey Boys and their director. Jamie, good morning. Good morning, Charlie. It's not unusual for a stage play or musical to find its way to the silver screen. What is unusual is for so many of those stage actors to go with it. But in Jersey Boys, the story of Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons, three of the four central characters started in a stage production. The opportunity proved rewarding and emotional. Ladies and gentlemen, international recording stars, the Four Seasons. Who loves you, pretty baby? The film begins in the early 1960s. Four men with almost nothing, tempted by the tough streets and a life of crime, instead came together to create an iconic sound. It was a sound that earned them 46 hit singles. They were the Four Seasons. They were the Jersey Boys. A story about young men whose lives could have gone very wrong Absolutely. and went very right. Did that speak to you personally? I knew a lot, a lot of people like these kids when I was growing up that were headed towards the wrong direction. Some of them uh, stayed that way and they went the wrong direction. Some of them pulled out of it. But this was a great uh, example of that. It's a sign, Tommy. Ooh. Still like the four felons. Rather than looking for big Hollywood stars, director Clint Eastwood went back to the theater to cast his film. Three of the four actors had played their roles on stage. Was that something that was important to you? That is unusual. You can't deny when somebody has done 1,200 performances of a play, you can't get, just get, brush it off like it's nothing. Why don't you come? Not only can they sing, but they can act. And they are familiar with the characters. They've lived with it for years, years on end. So I just thought, why not? Eric Bergen plays Bob Gaudio, the keyboardist and primary songwriter for the Four Seasons. Michael Lamenda is bassist and arranger Nick Massey. And John Lloyd Young reprises his Tony Award winning role as Frankie Valley. You want a contract? Yeah. A Jersey contract. I mean, historically, the actors who uh, did the stage show, not just in the original production, but let alone the touring company, as Michael and I did, never even end up on a consideration list, let alone making it to the top of the consideration list. Just to have Mr. Eastwood even show up at one of my matinees, and then let alone to get a call uh, to say that he was interested in seeing me for the film, just blew my mind. And then, of course, the final call, which is, you know, the best call of my entire life, <laughs> to, to work on the film with him was just something else. It's got to be surreal to be doing scenes that you've done hundreds of times on stage on a film set, and Clint Eastwood is in the room. What is different about delivering those same lines for a film? Clint is, a, is a, your friend, mm -hmm. and he's an actor. So he had our backs. Um, after that, he discovered us because he enjoyed our performances on stage. So uh, he allowed us to give those performances in front of his cameras. Come ahead. Now, I noticed that you call Clint Eastwood Clint, but Michael, you call him Mr. Eastwood. Yeah, Could you just not bring yourself to so respectful. <laughs> it's okay. It makes us look like it's like the boss, Mr. E or Mr. Eastwood. I just can't do, I can't do, I can't do, I see, I can't even say it. You can't, you can't actually form the C. Right. Yeah. The film depicts the roller coaster ride to fame for the four seasons. That experience for these young actors has proven to be just as emotional. I would just want to ask you all what you're most grateful for about your experience with Jersey Boys through stage, wow. film, everything. You know, you look around uh, this theater, it's like I was 20 years old and I sat down there with my father and watched John do the show for the first time. And I remember uh, sitting back there and turning around and seeing while well, I was auditioning for the movie and seeing Frankie Valli sort of stand behind me and go, hey, you did good at the audition today. These are, I mean, I can, I can barely talk because um, these are our lives. Who would have thought? It's crazy.
And Jersey Boys opens in theaters nationwide tomorrow. Charlie, Gail, Nora? I'm going. Thank you, Jamie. It wasn't touching that it meant so much to them working with Clint yeah. and seeing Frankie Valley. And again, how an experience as a child changes your life. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Nicely done. Thank you, Jamie.